welcome to Watercolor Hour. Today we're going to be painting this fun bike. I'm going to go over what's in your kit. You should have this example photo. You should also have this outline which you're going to need to trace onto your blank watercolor paper. You should also have two brushes, a detail brush and a round size six. And you should also have your card with watercolor paint on it. Let's get started. So the first thing you're going to need to do is to get your outline to the paper. There are a couple of ways to do that. I use a light box to trace, but you can also just tape the outline to a sunny window with your watercolor paper on top and trace it that way um, really lightly with a pencil. So once we've done that, we're going to go ahead and swatch our colors just so you can see what they look like. So you get your brush wet. All you have to do is touch it to the paint and I've got some extra space here so I'm going to do it here. So there's our rose. Our cerulean. You may be able to tell you don't need to have too much water on your brush to be able to pick up the paint. Here's our permanent red deep. And then ivory black is the last one. Okay, so there's all our shades. The first color that we're going to mix is the teal for the bike. So if you have a plate handy or a palette, I'm using the small one, but uh, if you've got an old ceramic plate, those work really well. That's my favorite thing to use for mixing colors uh, because the water doesn't beat up like it does on plastic. So I'm going to mix our sap green and our cerulean to make teal. And I've got a little bit of water in there already. I'm just picking up some paint. And some of our green. And that's about half and half. Um, so I'm going to check it out here. And I do like that color. It's a little bit light though, so I'm going to add some more paint. If you're doing this at home, you can start with less water. I had a few drops in there. It's probably too much. That's a little too green. There's some blue. Okay, I like that shade, so it's a little bit darker. So we're going to start with these parts of the bike. And you should have a copy of the final painting to go by as well. So I'm using this brush. It's a round size six. And I'm just touching it to the paper. I'm not pressing it down to where all the bristles are spread out because this area is pretty thin. This is a little more green than my original, but I do like this color, so I'm gonna leave it. Starting to get a little light, so get some more paint. Drop it in. Right, I'm going to connect this area here. I'm 
drop some more paint there. And I'm going slowly just because this area is so small. As long as your brush is pretty wet, you can work slowly. Okay, so that part's done. Um, this right here is the kickstand, so we're not going to paint this color here, but it is going to go up this way. Right, and up here. I went a little bit outside the line, but I'll just make this part a little bit thicker. And now we're going to come down here. Okay, and so our last part is here. Uh, you'll notice that this basket here has this foliage spilling out and there's some green here. So I'm gonna avoid this little space right here if I can so that later on you'll just see green. And we're not gonna go all the way up into the where the florals are. I'm just gonna go to about right there. And then fill in this little space. And then jump over here. Okay, so we've got our teal done. The next thing we're going to do is work on the bike seat. So for that, we're going to need some brown. An easy way to mix brown is red and green. So I'm gonna rinse off my brush. Grab a little bit of red. And I do have a couple of drops of water in here already. So drop this in and then pick up some green. And we'll see what this looks like. Oh, so that's a light brown, so we want it darker. So I'm gonna put some more paint in. We're also going to use this brown for the handlebars and the basket. So it's okay if we have extra brown paint because we're going to use it later. Testing it out. I'm going to add just a little bit of black, and I mean a tiny bit, just to make it darker. Okay. So we're going to add that to the bike seat here. I might 
paint right here is dry where this teal meets the seat, but if yours is still a little bit shiny, that means it's wet, so you'll want to wait until it's completely dry. And that's still a bit light, so what I'm going to do is come over to one of these other wells and I'm going to dry it out and add just paint, no water. So there's some red and there's some green. more green that's too red. Okay, and that's a good dark brown, so I'm going to just drop this in. So if your color's too light, less water, more paint. If your color's too dark, you need more water. So that's nice and dark. Okay, the next thing we're gonna work on is the tires and the spokes. So everything that is um, black and gray here. And for that, we're just gonna be using the ivory black and then we're gonna water it down for the gray parts. So I'm gonna get my black color put some in here. Right, we're going to start with the wheels. So again, just make sure that this is all dry before you start painting. And I just work in small sections at a time, so I'm going to start in here. I have a bunch of extra paint on my brush, so I'm going to put some of it over here. It's just a little too wet, and then I'll come back to that section. One thing you can also do is just completely dry off your brush. On your napkin and then touch it to the paint and that will pull some of it up. And I'll start working on this section. And I'm using some pressure to press down on the brush so that I can get some thicker lines. And I'm going to come back and just get some black from here and drop it in so it's darker. And put some more in there. I'm just working a little bit at a time. I'm going to start over here and then 
meet that section. And remember that this is the kickstand, so you don't want to paint that little section there. All right, a little more paint. And here's the last part. Okay, so now we're gonna work on this one and then we'll come back and work on the middle section. Okay, so I'm going to go back to this wheel and darken the tire a little bit. Most of it's dry. It's still a little bit wet, but that's okay.
All right, so we've got that done. Notice I dropped some paint over here, so I'm gonna rinse my brush off. Scrub it with water. And do that over here too. Okay, so the next thing we're going to do is the spokes. Um, I'm going to freehand them if you want to use a ruler or uh, a card or something to line up the edges, you can do that, but I'm just going to draw them in. Alright, try to do them as evenly as possible. And for this, we're just going to use gray. So we're going to water down the black. OK, we're also going to fill in these little circles right here with gray paint. So for this one, I'm going to use this smaller brush. And I've got black there. I'm just going to see that's pretty light. so. I'll add a little bit more. And we're going to fill this in here. And then do these. Now we'll do this side. The next thing we're going to do is start on the basket and we should have some leftover brown paint. You can use either brush. I'm going to go ahead and switch back to the larger one. So we need this to be light because we're going to come back in with darker brown paint later on. So just light brown. Don't worry too much about what the top edge looks like because that's going to get covered up with some of the flowers. It's a little too dark. Drying off my brush and spreading this around. Okay, so the next thing we're going to do is start mixing some of our flower colors. So the next thing we're going to do is work on our flowers. So we have a couple of colors here, like rose and our permanent red, that will be fine um, just off the card to use for flowers, but we also are going to mix a couple of colors. So 
For my purple, I use a mix of the rose and cerulean. So I've got a little bit of water in here and I added both of those colors and it makes a nice purple shade. You can also mix a little bit of orange if you'd like. So I'm going to grab some lemon yellow. And add in some red. So that's a really light orange. Um, and I'm also going to use this teal here. So you can see the outline. There are some sort of blobs here. These are the flowers that we're going to fill in, and later on we'll fill in the blank space with greenery. So the first thing we're going to do is put down our lighter layers. So looking at my reference here, I've got a light pink flower. So I'm going to grab some of the rose. And fill this in. So right now we just need this circle shape and then we'll come back in later with some details. I'm going to do some yellow flowers as well. So this one up here will be yellow. And I'll also make this one yellow down here. First you can make them whatever color you'd like. Okay, and then I'm gonna add some pink up here. So this is just a watery rose color. It doesn't have to be a precise shape. It's gonna get covered up with darker shades later on. And then up here, some rose again for this one. I'm making the petals stick out a bit. All right, and then I'm gonna add in some light purple to these spots up here. Alright, and I'm going to take some of this orange, and that's going to be this right here. So this longer piece that's hanging down. And again, it's going to get covered up by details, so it doesn't have to be too precise. Okay, well that's drawing, drying. I'm going to come over here and fill in the handlebars with some dark brown. And I am going to need that to be a little bit darker because I've also got to use dark brown here on the basket. So I'm going to mix a little bit more red and green paint in here.
drop some of this darker color in there. Okay. And I'm going to come back to the basket and start doing some of the details for that. So all we're going to be doing is making little lines across so that it looks like it's woven. And you want to make sure that they're not right next to each other. And just fill in as much space as you can. But still leave some of that lighter brown showing through. All right, so there's our basket. And most of this is dry, so we're going to start working on some of these details. All right, so we're going to be using rows here to add some details to this one. So all we're doing is adding little lines in the shape of a C. And this is just paint. There's no, well, I wiped off as much water as I could from the brush so that the paint is darker. So you have a little bit of detail there. And then here, we're gonna do a dot in the center. Maybe some lines going out from the center. And then for this one, I'm going to mix my red, some red into the rose. And I'm just going to do, add some darker shade, shading in here. And then I'll come back and work on that a little bit later. So for my purple, I'm just going to add some little dots to these. And maybe some lines around. My yellow's still wet, or this one is, so I'm not going to mess with that one. This one's dry, so I'm going to grab some of this darker color here. And this was rose mixed with a permanent red. Do the center. Grab a little bit more red. And do the same thing that I did with this one here, which is draw the little really small C shapes. All the way around. So while this is drying, I'm going to start filling in some of these other spaces. So I'm going to use this teal and Put some flowers up here. And I'm just dabbing the paint on with this brush. I'm going to grab some purple 
and do a couple of flowers down here. So I'm just drawing the lines and then dotting on the paint along the sides. And I'm going to do the same thing up here by the teal. Just drawing the line. And I'm going to do some purple flowers here. A little more purple in here. Got space here, so I'm going to put some pink here, and this is a mix of rose and permanent red. some orange over here. And some pink. Let's see. So this is dry as well as this little yellow one. So I'm going to add some permanent red, and I'm just taking it straight from the card. And I'm going to add the center. And the little C-shapes. And then for this one, I'm just going to do little lines on top. So that's red. I'm going to come back with some rose and do the same thing. All right, I still got a couple of wet flowers here, so I'm going to start on my greenery. So I'm just going to be using sap green. Um, we're going to do that straight from the card. So. Let's see, right here, we've got this empty space, so we're going to fill that in. So for leaves, you just want to do one side like this, and then the other by pressing down and then letting up. So we're going to make some leaves along here. And I'll do another one up here. I'm also going to put some leaves over here. And they don't have to be perfect or all go in the same direction. It's better if they don't.
Alright, I'm going to add some up there. Okay, and a couple more here. We'll do some larger ones. And now I'm just going to be filling in space here with sap green. So you can do leaf shapes if you want, or you can just dot it on. I'm probably going to do a mix of both. Some of my paint is still wet, so it's kind of bleeding into some of these flowers, but I like how it looks, so it's fine. We just want to make sure that we have enough green to kind of overlap with the handlebars because we don't have this part of the handlebars in the painting. So this is mostly filled in. Okay, we just have a couple of flowers here that don't have details, so we're going to add that in. I'm going to add some red to this one. And I'm just going to draw some lines in. here, just at our center, and then do some lines going out. And I'm just dragging the paint from the middle out. And here, we'll add lines. Okay, I like how that looks. I'm going to go ahead and leave it alone. The last thing we need to do is the circle here and the kickstand. So I'm going to wipe out a space in my palette. We're going to use some of the brown. So I've got that left over. And then we'll need a little bit of gray. So I'm just going to get some watered down black. And I'm going to keep using my small brush because these are pretty small pieces. So I'm filling this in with gray. Alright, while that's drying, I'm going to come down here with the brown.
And then our last step will be right here. So you want to make sure that the circle is dry before you start painting. Mine isn't quite there yet, but I'm just going to be very careful and not touch this wet paint. this bled a little bit here, so I'm going to use my dry brush and just pick that up and blend it out. Okay, and you're done. I hope you had fun. If you have any questions, please let me know, and I will see you next time.